Hello all, in this video let us discuss how hash map works internally. So these are the topics that would be covered today. How hash map works internally, some basics of hash map, how put and get are processed, and what will happen when a duplicate key is inserted in hash map, and the role of equals and hash code in hash map. So these are the basics of hash map. Hash map is an implementation of map interface with key and value pairs. Orders are not maintained in hash map and hash map accepts one null key and multiple null values. Key should be unique and cannot have duplicates. Actually key can have duplicates but it may overwrite the original key with the new value. And hash maps are unsynchronized and it can be synchronized externally using collections.synchronized map and the initial capacity is 16 and load factor is 0.75. Now let us see how put method works in hash map. For this example, we have created three employee objects E1, E2, E3 with the value alpha, beta, charlie and we have created a hash map hm where key is the employee and value is string. Next we are inserting all these three employee objects as a key in hash map and the value with 1, 2, 3. So we have a hash map with three employee objects E1, E2, E3 with the value 1, 2, 3. Next the hash map takes the key object here, key is E1 and it calculates a hash code for this E1 object. For example, let's see for E1 the hash code is 756475. Next it will calculate the index in which bucket this value should be populated. So how the index is calculated? So how the indexing calculation is done? It's usually hash code followed by bitwise operator and followed by n-1. So based on that calculation, the bucket would be decided by the hash map. So for the object E1 and the hash code 756475, hash map has calculated the index of 2, that's bucket 2. Next it goes to the bucket 2 and it populates the values. The first value would be the hash code itself, it's 756475, followed by the key, followed by the value and followed by the next node which is null for now. Next it will take the key of E2 and it will calculate the hash code for E2 and based on the indexing calculation it has decided the bucket is 14. So the hash code goes to the bucket 14 and it will populate the hash code itself as a first value followed by the key E2 and followed by the value 2 and followed by the next node which is null. Now the next key which is E3 the hash code will be calculated for E3. Here the hash code is 756909 and the indexing operation has given the hash code for the bucket 2. So we already have a value in bucket 2. So how these values will get populated in the same bucket? So in this case what hash map does is this node null will point to the new value which is going to be inserted now. So it will insert a value here with 756909 that's a hash code with the key E3 and the value 3 and the next node would be null. And this node will point to the next, the null will be changed and it will be point to the next record present in the same bucket. So this is how hash map put method works. Initially it calculates the hash code and based on the indexing operation it decides the bucket and it populates the value in the bucket and each bucket can have more than one record available. So if more than one records are available it will have a node next to the value and that node will point to the next available record in the same bucket. Now let's see what will happen when you try to insert a duplicate key in hash map. So for this example we have created an employee object E4 with the value alpha. We already have an employee object E1 with the same value alpha. Now we have created another employee object E4 with the same value alpha. And we are inserting this employee object E4 as a key in hash map with the value 4. Next hash map will try to calculate the hash code for this key and it will identify the bucket in which this record should be inserted. So the hash code is calculated as 756475 and it has identified the bucket 2. But we already have some existing records in the bucket 2. 
So what does the hash map do? It will try to compare the hash code of available records. So first it will try to calculate the hash code of 756475 with the hash code which is saved in the bucket to 756475. Since both the hash codes are matching, here comes the equals part. Then it will take the key of the stored record and it will compare with the key of inserting record. So in this case e1 dot equals e4. So e1 and e4 objects are same with the same value alpha. So e1 dot equals e4 will return true. So in this case the value of e1 would be replaced by e4 and the value of 1 would be replaced by 4. So this was what it will happen when you try to insert a duplicate record. So when you insert a duplicate key even with a new value, the old key will get replaced with the new key and the value also will be replaced by the new inserting record. So what will happen when you try to insert the null key? Since hash map, up, hash map accepts one null key, the null key will always be stored in the zeroth bucket in the hash map. So this is about the insertion of duplicate key and insertion of null key. Now let's see how get method works in hash map. So we are trying to get the employee object E3 from the hash map. So hash map first calculates the hash code for this key object E3 and the hash code is 756909 and then it will identify the bucket in which this record might be inserted. So here the bucket is 2. So next thing hash map will go to that bucket too and since it has more than one record first it will compare the hash code with the available records in the bucket too. So first it compares 756909 with the first hash code that's 756475. Since it's not matching it will go to the node and it will go to the next available record. So in this case 756909 and 756909 the insertion record and the search record both are matching. Next it will compare the key object here. The key object is E3. So it will compare E3 dot equals E3. So since both objects are equal it will retrieve this record and it will give to the user. So that's one of the important note to be noted in case of hash map. When two objects are equal, their hash codes are always equal. But that doesn't mean when hash codes are equal, both objects should be equal. If the objects are equal, hash codes are equal. Even though sometimes hash codes are equal, both objects may not be equal. So this is one of the key note that need to be noted when working with hash map. So that's it about hash map, uh, the insertion put method and get method and insertion of duplicate key and insertion of null key and how get method works. In the next video we will see what will happen when we don't override equals and hash code, how the hash map behaves in such case. So we can see that in our next video. Thank you and please do subscribe.